Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us here today to discuss the senseless and horrific crime that occurred yesterday in our city, which tragically left one man dead. Joining me today at the press conference is Assistant Special Agent in Charge Dan Evans of the Federal Bureau of Investigation's New Orleans Division, Chris Domena, Supervisory Special Agent, Federal Bureau of Investigation, New Orleans Division, Superintendent Michael Harrison, New Orleans Police Department, Darlene Cusimano, President of Crime Stoppers Greater New Orleans, and Randy Sheltra, Loomis Armored U.S. As part of a joint law enforcement investigation between the New Orleans Police Department and FBI New Orleans Field Office, here is what I can share with you today. On Wednesday, May 31st at approximately 4.30 p.m., Loomis Armored Car employees were conducting a routine currency service at the Campus Federal Credit Union located at 2200 Tulane Ave in Mid-City. While servicing the drive through ATM machines, Loomis employees were approached by armed subjects demanding money. The perpetrators exchanged gunfire with the Loomis Armored Car employees, at which time one of the Loomis employees was struck and subsequently died of his injuries. We believe someone out there knows who committed this heinous act or may have witnessed the crime. In an effort to generate information regarding this crime, the FBI is offering up to a $20,000 cash reward for information leading to the identification and arrest of the person or peoples responsible for the homicide of a Loomis Armored Car employee. Also, the Loomis Armored Car Company is offering up to an additional $25,000, and Crime Stoppers of Greater New Orleans has agreed to further increase the reward by another $5,000. In total, a $50,000 reward has been established for the identification and arrest of the persons or people responsible for this horrific act. Anybody with information is asked to contact FBI New Orleans Field Office at 504 816-3000 or Crime Stoppers at 504-822-1111. I will say this, we will not stop until we have gotten the people who are responsible for this heinous act. Until justice is served, we will not stop our efforts to capture these individual, the individual or individuals involved in this crime. The senseless violence in this city is absolutely unacceptable, and someone's greed led to the death of another human being. I'm now going to turn the mic over to Superintendent Michael Harrison, um, my partner and our partner in keeping the city safe on a daily basis and through this investigation. Chief. Thank you, Agent Select. And so we're certainly grateful for the partnership of the FBI, and as you can see standing here, this is a partnership. It's not just NOPD and FBI, but it's a partnership with Crime Stoppers, and now it's a partnership with Loomis. But it is also a partnership with the community, because the way we solve crimes and the way we keep New Orleans safe is with community participation. So whoever knows anything, saw anything, or heard anything, we urge you to call Crime Stoppers immediately. Call the FBI immediately or call NOPD immediately. Crime Stoppers has it set up, and you're here where you can do this anonymously. You can do it anonymously. And so we urge anyone who has any information, whether you saw it or whether you heard it, to please call us right away. The way we are successful in this partnership now is with community support. When those who know what happened actually call us and give us the information, that's how we can make sure you stay safe. That's how we can make sure we hold people accountable who committed this heinous crime. So we certainly thank all of our partners here, the FBI, Crime Stoppers, and Loomis for their partnership. Thank you. Um, and hi, I'd like to just echo that we really truly need everyone to step forward. The citizens are our eyes and ears, and you have many ways to contact us. Through Crime Stoppers, you're gonna be remaining anonymous. We're not gonna identify you, so there's never a fear for retaliation. This is a very large reward to up to $50,000. So we, we are urging you to do the right thing, help us find justice for this family and for the community. Thank you. 